hey there trendsetters welcome back to our channel as you know we went to the healthy hair and beauty expo so today we have another incredible treat for you we had the honor of sitting down and listening to the brilliant gabrielle Waite, the mastermind behind gabby glam cosmetics she shared her secrets and key ingredients to building a sustainable makeup business and brand and we wanted to share those ingredients with you but before we do remember to like comment share and subscribe get ready to be inspired by this jamaican entrepreneur gabrielle waite of gabby glam cosmetics how to build a sustainable business and brand so what is a brand now your brand is you you are your brand and the thing about it is that a brand is how people see you right it's the experience that I have with you or your products. And the, about, the thing about it is that it's basically like your digital reputation. If you think about it as well, like, you know, like a Juvia's Place. How many of us know Juvia's Place? Familiar with that brand? Yeah? So we know that they're known for, their reputation is known for high color payoffs, right? So we know that once them drop a new palette, we're quick to buy it because we know that, okay, the colors are going to pop. It's going to look good. So we know that anything that them drop, we, know, we already have an expectation and we know what it's about because of their brand. Another brand that people recognize is MAC. So for MAC, it's more of that reliable brand that people like the, the when you see first time wearing makeup, you know, you're not into makeup or anything. That's usually like the go-to brand that most people tend to go for because it's reliable. It's been existing for how many years? So then feel like, so, okay, MAC is the brand, right? So that is the first brand that they're going to go to. So that's the thing about it. Your brand is how people view you. And at the same time, your, you are your brand, right? So your brand, it affects your business relationships, your interpersonal relationships and sales. So it ultimately sets the foundation for your business. And you are your brand, and you are the only one that makes your brand unique. All right, so I don't know if you guys know any of these people. All right, yeah, you know them, right? Yeah, so right there, you have Pat McGrath, Danessa Myricks, Rihanna, and Sir John. Now, these persons are in the beauty industry. They're a black woman and a man. Um, and they have built and created a brand and which had led them to be have a sustainable makeup business right if you realize pat mcgrath her brand is called pat mcgrath which is her name same with Vanessa Myricks. actually for all of them fenty beauty fenty's um rano's or her middle name right so and then you have sir john as well so the thing about it is that you don't have to think of a fancy name because it's your digital reputation so, for, in, for instance, Instagram, you realize persons kind of call it by Instagram name sometimes um, because that has been, that is your brand. So it's what you put out there. But what's so cool about a brand is that it's something that you can also create because it's something that is a digital reputation, a representation um, that attracts and brings in sales and business as well what makes a business sustainable so from just my experience um so far passion i feel like you definitely have to be passionate to be able to go into any type of business it doesn't even have to be beauty because if you're not passionate about it when the struggles and things lick you like it don't make no sense you just want to give up so if you're not passionate about it it really just don't make no sense because there's nothing that's ever going to be smooth sailing so yeah, if you don't have no passion about it, then over time or after a while, you're probably going to realize that you're just going to give up on it and it's really just not worth it. Educate. So it's very important that no matter how experienced you are in that industry, there's always room to learn, room to grow. There's so many things that you can learn about, even if it's not in your industry, but understanding, you know, being educated about SEOs, 
to be able for persons to reach you internationally when they do like a Google search on you, right? Um, understanding how social media works. Social media is forever changing, but you always want to be knowledgeable to know, okay, how you can reach an audience that you did not reach because of the benefits that we can gain from social media and the, the audience that we can reach from that. The next thing is a niche. So it's important for us to find our niche, which is basically finding that small audience and that targeted audience in terms of the persons that we want to attract for our service or our product. Because the thing about it is that you can't please everybody. Not everybody's going to like your, your product or your service or what you do or the way how you do it, and that's fine. But once you create a niche and you find out, okay, who are the ideal persons I want to reach? who I want to have that experience with my product. It helps a lot. You find that you grow a lot more. So for instance, for me, I specialize in soft glam looks. Um, even for carnival, even though I'll be doing carnival makeup, it's a soft glam carnival look. So then for that now, I can't, you find that a lot of the persons who come to me, I am attracted to the, they are attracted to me because they know that this is the type of look that they want, so they know, okay, this is what she focuses on, she's the ideal person to go to, right? I can't please everybody. It's not, not everybody going to want the big lashes, not everybody going to want the glitter eye, and those stuff look amazing, but then there's also an audience who just like the simple makeup, and that's what I do. So even in terms of my products with Gabby Glam Cosmetics, I tend to cater to the everyday woman who is into the soft glam, they're not into the whole excitement and color. So that's the audience that I tend to cater to. And it's been working for me, so I think that if you guys try it as well, I think it will work for you as well. Even with the other persons, the persons that I showed you um, previously about the, the people in the beauty industry who have done so well, they all have a niche. Right, Pat McGrath, she really focuses on those exotic eye looks, um, and they're very pigmented. Um, Juvia's Place is also one who does the whole popular, the high color payoff, and they really focus a lot to makeup artists specifically, um, or persons who do love to do that like fun, colorful eye look. Right, so the next thing is consistency. So, string a bit from makeup. If you think about it, have you guys ever realized that? I don't know how much of you guys still watch cable, but when you're watching the news and you see, say, um, KFC, KFC always has an ad during that prime time spot, right? We all know KFC. We all probably eat KFC before. However, they're always consistent in their marketing. There's always a KFC billboard. They're always doing advertising. It's not a case where they don't think persons know about the brand, but they're being consistent. And the thing about it is that that really helps with a customer in terms of the psychology, psychological aspects, right? The thing is that you're always seeing it, so it will always be on your mind. So when you're hungry, what you're gonna think about is that billboard, the Zinger billboard that you probably saw, or the ad, the, the, the spicy chicken ad that was on um, TVJ. So the thing about it is that once you're consistent, and it's so funny because one of my clients, I call my clients glam girls, right? And one of my glam girls is Terry Curl Reed. I'm not sure, I know if probably, most of us probably know of Terry Curl, right? And we know that she's such an amazing host. And one thing she told me, she said, Gabby, out of sight, out of mind. So for her, everybody knows that she's so good at what she does. She's always booked and busy, yet still she's always posting about what she does, right? It's, all, it's always because it's an out of sight, out of mind. If she doesn't post, eventually it will fade away, right? You probably will forget about her eventually. And then you'll probably see somebody else who is new and up in the market. And uh, the next thing about consistency is that you end up reaching an audience that you were never able to reach before. Because not everybody who follow you, follow you. 
right? You have people who are not following you, who are following you, right? And then you don't know just because of what you're posting, um, the space that you've built on social media, you don't know if your name is being called in certain rooms. <laughs> there are opportunities locally and internationally that you can be able to be a part of. So consistency is key with anything, not just in the beauty industry, but in anything that you are doing, consistency is always key. And the thing about it too, you find that your skills become better, um, the more you're doing it, even in terms of creating reels, for example. You, you find that you kind of get the, I remember when reels just come out, and I was just like, what is this thing? This makes no sense. And it was hard to understand and to get the transitions. But then the more you're doing it, you realize, okay, I get in it, right? So consistency is another one, right? Um, innovative. You always want to be innovative. The world is forever changing. As I said, Instagram, oh my God, they're always coming up with new things. I remember the first time the whole um, story thing came out, and I don't know if... For me, I thought it didn't make sense because I'm like, that's already Snapchat. Why are they coming up with an IG story? I know all of us are posting our story, right? Same thing with Reels. But the thing about it is that you always want to be innovative and keeping up with what is currently happening. So you find out, okay, for example, with Instagram, once you post a picture, it doesn't reach as much as how a Reel would have reached because now persons are more interested in videos. So you want to find out, okay, what can I do? How can I create a cool video for persons to, to be able to see me, to see my product, to see the service that I'm offering? And the last thing is limitless. Never try to limit yourself. These people, none of them come from no royal family. All of them came from humble beginnings, but they never limited themselves. Pat McGrath, which is the first person, she's actually a Jamaican woman. And her products, like her palette alone, one of her makeup palettes, will probably sell for like 30,000 Jamaican dollars. Right? Yeah. So don't limit yourself. Don't tie yourself into a box. Don't think, okay, you know, I don't have the money right now, or I live in a third world country. Don't let that stop you. For me, I had the honor and the opportunity of doing um, Shirley Ralph's makeup, which was a huge honor for me. And to be honest, like if I were to limit myself and feel like I'm not capable, I'm doubting myself, she probably, they wouldn't have contacted me, you know? So definitely guys, I don't think you should limit yourself. And even when I was coming up on stage and she's just like, she thinks she's Beyonce, yeah, more that on Beyonce level, right? So, don't worry about what other people are doing. You do you. You are your brand. The only thing I really want you guys to remember is that your brand is you. You are what makes your brand unique. And your brand is the foundation of your business. So once you have your brand intact and you're passionate, you are, you know, you're educating, you're always learning, you have your niche, you are consistent, you're innovative. What's the last one? A pencil. Uh, and you're limitless. No one can stop you. And there you have it. We hope you found her insights and experiences enlightening. We encourage you to take the key ingredients shared by Gabrielle and apply them to your own ventures. If you enjoyed this video and found value in Gabrielle's presentation, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who are passionate about building sustainable businesses and brands. And don't forget to subscribe so that you are an official trend setter. All right, stay beautiful and until next time, one love.